Hi there, students. Foam, froth, lava, suds, scum, and spume. So these are all similar but slightly different. So, shaving foam. You take it out of a can and you put it on your beard or your face and shave. Okay, that's a foam. Um, polystyrene foam. I get the idea foam is something that's full of bubbles. Yeah? Okay. Um, you would have bath foam as well you put in your bath. Froth, I think you get on the top of a liquid. So if you have a cappuccino, the froth is really tasty. Lava. You take a piece of soap and you start rubbing it and it lavas. It creates froth, foam, suds. And I think suds is probably the best word here. Yeah. So to lava is to is the actual process of taking soap and water and rubbing them together. Um, suds. The first collocation that comes to mind is the phrase soap suds. Yeah. And I think suds are for washing. Yeah. It's the fo it's the lava on the top. Yeah. Which comes from your soap. Yeah. I have a feeling suds are quite light. Now, what about scum? OK, well, when all the foam or all the suds have gone, you've got this piece, this thing floating on the water. Yeah. And it's, it's like solid or very thick, greasy liquid. Yeah. That is scum. If you have a bath when you're really, really dirty, and then you take the plug out and the water goes out, you might see a ring of scum around the edge of the bar. Okay? Scum. Scum is pretty horrible. All the others, foam, froth, lava and suds, these are quite positive. Okay, what about this last one, spume? Well, spume is much more specific. You know the waves on the sea that roll, but when there's a wind and, the, and the, um, the wave comes up, the wind blows some of the water off, white horses. And that spray is called spume, yeah? Okay, so it's the wind blowing the tops off the waves. And that is spume. So let's go back again. So foam. I think foam gives me the idea of something chemical, yeah? Um, you might just use it on uh, for the top of your cap cappuccino, but I think froth is much better. Um, he was frothing at the mouth. I've got the idea with froth is you've got liquid and some sort of foam, okay? Um, lava, I would use more as a verb. This soap won't lava. It won't make foam or froth or suds, yeah? Notice I'm using all of the words interchangeably and I think with each of these definitions it's like a circle and one is better for one and one is better for another use. Um, suds, to me, definitely talk about soap suds and washing and this froth on the top of the water which you get when you, you are washing, maybe with soap or when you're washing your clothes or even when you're washing the dishes. Yeah, you know these little bits on the top. Okay, scum is when the soap and all the dirty fatty particles have mixed together, yeah, and it's like a residue, yeah, okay, and if it's liquid enough it'll go down the drain, but scum is really nasty. If you don't clean the bath ever, it's going to be covered in scum. Ugh. Um, when it, they also use this word scum to say so that somebody is horrible. These, this person is the worst of the worst, yeah? So to, if you call someone scum, then that's a pretty strong insult, yeah? These people are sheer scum, okay? And then the spume, this is the wave and the wind blowing the top off it and the spray. White horses, okay?
So maybe bath foam, uh, maybe shaving foam. Yeah, the froth on the top of your cappuccino. He was frothing at the mouth. He was going crazy. To lather. Yeah, he was. He's in a lather about this. He's very upset about it. Suds to me, soap suds, something when you're washing. Yeah, particularly on the top of water, like a froth. Scum, this residue, this dirty, horrible residue that uh, you need to wash away. And then spume from the top of the waves. Okay? Anyway, enough of that. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.